it's Journal Santucci, and I'm going uh, back to Rome 1 for two battles on this video. The first one is Thrace, which is me, versus Rome, which is uh, I rock. I have uh, two Thracian uh, militia cav. I have, let's see, four phalanx pikemen. I believe they're gold gold, and this one is a militia hoplite gold gold. I have six archers. They might be gold gold, or I don't even remember. Nah, just silver attack. And my, uh, I got uh, four flaxmen. Gold attack. Now over here, he's got two uh, arch auxilia. Gold attack. He's got gold gold. Uh, Praetorian cavalry, two of them. Now he's got uh, urban. Praetorian, urban. Praetorian urban says one two three urban two Praetoriums uh, looks like they're very they're kind of weird on the upgrades but he's got a more elite army than I do how do you like how they skirmish now he's being smart he's uh, putting his guys in loose formation which uh, is easier for him to catch my dudes But uh, I'm getting some kills on his Praetorians. Uh, not many, but getting enough. Now you can see, it looks like he's start to gar starting to go for my archers here. Um, so I saw this. What I should have did was pull my archers close to my phalanx. But I was being... Um, I, was, I had too much confidence in these flaxmen to get there in time. They got there, but not in the fashion that I wanted them to get into. Um, he sees what's going on here, and he pulls his cavalry, which is good. He pulls his cavalry right out of the uh, fray there, and he's going to tear up my uh, my cavalry like nobody's business. I, I outnumbered him in cav at that, but not anymore. So. I think, I'm not sure, but, yeah, I, that's what I did. I started hitting him with uh, with my archers. Anything I could possibly do. And these guys, I pulled them back because I want to get the flaxmen the hell out of the uh, group. But I realized, look at this. He's going to try to lure these guys away from my line. That's not happening. I won't let it happen. So he's gonna, looks like he's doing something crazy like charging into a flaxman. So I'm gonna receive that charge. Now my problem is, you see where these archers are? They're shooting, trying to shoot the Praetorians, but they're shooting my men. That was a mistake on my part. But, uh, I'm doing all I can right now take these guys out he had a golden opportunity right there to probably go all the way around through the, the ranks there so I, I my last failure I pulled my guys out now my archers are gonna have free reigns on his uh, Praetorian cavalry they're not coming back <laughs> they're 25 24 23 21, 20, 16, 15, they're done. So, while that was happening, he just slapped the shit out of that one pike unit right here with his uh, archers. And, I, I, and I'm like, damn. When I noticed that, I'm like, that sucks. But I still have that one cab unit over here. I'm bringing up my, uh, my archers, and we're going to um, have a coup de gras over here with his archers and seeing that his cavalry is close enough to my my archers I figure I give him a little like uh, a little surprise archer surprise <laughs> yeah it's pretty stupid but I made sure that he wasn't gonna be able to get any type of attack on them so I'm bringing up my flaxman because I don't need uh, him charging he probably he, he seems like he's confident and his ability to take on Flaxman, but 
He doesn't realize that Flaxman murder Calvary. By pulling away like that also, not only did my Flaxman cut him down, my archers were shooting him as well, so. What I would have done right away is engage my infantry, but that's just me. Uh, 42 to my, what, 108. So what I'm doing is I'm uh, going to select fire his uh, archers over here. They got 105 in that one and 76 in that one. Now over here, he's chasing the shit out of my uh, militia cav, but my militia cav are faster, and since he was in uh, loose formation, he really couldn't get a, a good hit on my guys. So seeing that they're rubbing up against the freaking barrier over here, I had to take him off uh, skirmish mode and run them bitches away. And over here, these guys are down, down to 62. These guys are down to uh, 34. And I put these guys in loose formation because I don't need to be losing any more men. Definitely if I'm going to be fighting uh, Urban Cohort and Praetorians. Because these two units are done. And but my at least he was doing is shooting my general unit. The smart thing would have been to shoot this unit here. But I still have the crappy uh, militia high up pikemen, so militia high flights. So I'm running for my life. Uh, he managed to catch quite a few of my guys, actually. So I'm down to 75. He's down to 38. And I still, I'm still throwing stuff at him. So what I, what I was planning here is if I'm, I'm going to run them close to my archers, if possible. If I could do that, then I could possibly kill them. No more archers for me to contend with, which is good. So I'm going to go back into tight formation, even though this unit is a pile of trash. does not belong in the battlefield no more. And this infantry here should not have a chance of defeating an army like this. So we'll soon see what happens. You're probably thinking, wow, General, you're freaking out of your mind. What are you doing? Not even Prince of Macedon would run his infantry to fight, you know, to set up his infantry to fight the Romans. Definitely these kind of Romans. So what I did was a suicide charge with this one arrow as archer here. Which is quite all right with me, man. So I'm going to see if I can get a side charge on them. But I forgot these guys did not throw their javelins at those uh, archers over there. So soon as I, nerve is broken and he is fleeing from the enemy. As soon as that happened, it was over. And uh, my guys are just cutting these dudes down. I love how it says defeat is certain, but all I see is horses falling. Now he's at 27, and I got 75. The sheer number of men alone should rout them. It's crazy. So, thank the Lord, my general came back. But you can see this suicide uh, thing I'm doing here. Even if they do hit these guys, they come right back up. Go out to 10, man. Look at this. Finished. So, I was having a little bit of a problem. Oh, look at that. He's got 20 men left. Good for me. Now, what I'm starting to do is bring up my archers. And I'm going to take these guys out from the back. Which is excellent. Great move. And he's still back there with his uh, cavalry. This is how you effectively destroy the Roman army. Definitely these guys. It's 
So I'm sending my cavalry back there. And I'm going to let them know I'm not afraid to fight you. I'm out of uh, javelins, and I took my guys off skirmish mode. So it's, it's freaking, it's on like Donkey Kong, you Torian bastards. Eat this. These Katorians are dropping like little freaking bitches. You're getting cut down like a boss. Yeah, look at this Numidian cavalry. AKA Militia Cav. Jav Cav. Look at this, look at this. Defeat certain. Victory certain. Or to balance all now is defeat certain. Yeah, that's right. Run, you freaking coward Romans. How you like it? How you like getting stuck, cut down by a bunch of freaking Militia Cav? I was like, I was laughing hardcore on that one. But you can see all the damage I'm doing to this unit here. 74 man. Look at these dead people here. Oh god. I'd be like, Johnny, don't fall on me, bro. Yo, get off me, bro. You hit me in the ass with your freaking helmet. Yo, bro, what can one of you bastards turn the shield around or something? Oh crap. The Centaurian's dead. He's probably all pissed off and he died. I'm doing this everywhere, man. He's getting he's getting messed up. Only like this is the one way you're gonna win. He knows he's getting crushed. So he knows he's got to do something soon. And I, I, I would too. Should have did this a little sooner. He should attack my men. Well, here he goes. And while all that's happening, my guys are hitting him big time. I got Flaxmen coming up. I'm going to block this guy and I'm going to see if I can give my guys, turn them a little bit so I can protect my flank just a little bit longer. This is kind of a mess. I probably shouldn't do that. They get cut down like by a flaxman. Lesson one, don't get cut down by a flaxman. Lesson two, flaxmen have big mustaches. And they walk out in the buff. Lesson three, don't get pwned by another militia unit. Lesson four, don't get pwned by a militia unit with a flaxman inside. Number four, five, don't get rear charged by archers en route. Lesson <laughs> six, don't continue to die while getting charged by archers. The gods be praised. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Lesson seven, don't sound like a homo <laughs> when you're talking military. When you're giving military advice in the game, that stupid guy that popped up. Oh, the man, the general's dead. No, really. We just killed him. Oh, yeah. Get some. Yeah, route. Lesson nine. Don't route before they get there. Fight like a man. See, that's not his, it's not his fault that this guy's routed. Yes, it is. This is a glorious achievement. Your victory is total. Crushing would be a better word. It's not total. This guy's alive. But uh, it is a hero heroic victory. I had a lot more men than he did. A lot more. I had almost about 3,000 men. He had uh, 1,347. But these guys were more elite. Who's our uh, boss today? 199 for an archer unit. Guys, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to give you one more battle. All right, let's take a look at what I got here. Silver shields, I have five. Archers, I have six. And I kept them in tight formation, which isn't the best move. My archers have, uh, I don't know, no, no upgrades or something. Uh, I do have um, 
gold attack on my cataphracts. I did bring uh, Peltis. This one's gold, gold. Yeah, but who knows? They're, they're probably all gold, gold. And I have a militia cav unit. Um, this guy has uh, some uh, menacing units. Two chariot archers in that flank. One scythe chariot. Pontic heavy cavalry, three. Same guy as before, by the way. And archers. Uh, five. And bronze shields would cost a lot of money if you gold gold these guys. He's got uh, six. So I'm seeing what I could do. Maybe I can take some of these guys down with my arrows. And I, I, I put them in fire because I didn't realize that they were um, uh, chariot archers. But they are tearing me up. So I need to pull out of there. I might need that cav. You never know. Now this cav unit, I should have put them in uh, loose formation. But I didn't because I'm crazy. But these guys can die. But somehow I caught up to them. I'm wrecking havoc. And this one's starting around. Still got a lot of guys in that unit, by the way. But I am losing units. And I'm running up my uh, Peltis. I'm using these Peltis because uh, they're good against chariots. And you really don't want these guys near you. So now I got 10 uh, cataphracts in this unit. I'm, I joined his game, by the way. And we start off at 27. The first one was mine. I pelt us around the way. We are just getting our asses whooped. So, uh, yeah, he, he, I ran to that one unit there. Now, I'm trying to get these guys Peltis in range, but but they're not really doing much. So I'm going suicide charge with this cataphract. Wow, they died on impact. It sucks. Now we got this jerk off uh, unit over here. What a pain in the ass. I, I thought that he only had uh, two, but I guess he had a lot more than that. And we're just chilling here. And he's tearing up my uh, infantry, by the way. Another infantry tear up. Kind of blows. But I am tearing up his archers. And over here, I'm trying to make good work, short work of these uh, dudes over here. I mean, he's only got like 12 men in this unit now. Throw some freaking javelins, bro. Here comes my uh, militia cav. You would think these guys would be more powerful. You gotta throw those things faster. Still got these guys coming at me. And it's hard as hell to catch these guys. So I, I, I figured um, I get my cavalry out there, see what I can do against them.
Heavy cab. I didn't know they ran away. I did know, but it's just like you would think they wouldn't. That one got lost a couple guys. Here we go. Oh my god, dude, that's like it's like I just steamroll over. How does the feet seem certain? They're cataphracts. That's a bunch of that's a bunch of crap. I was wondering why they weren't dying. Now these guys, I think it was three cataphracts. I could probably get them, because if they're not moving, they should be able to kill you, right? Who knows? But I won the uh, fight down there. So you know, just like a couple guys over there. This is a very dumb move. This is not the type of move I'm, uh, I make often, and I know better, and I should have realized that I knew better and did something. So you can see I lost this fight over here. I mean, they're not even moving. Stay have to do off the freaking thing. I mean, how hard is it? So, seeing that... Oh, uh, that unit came back from Rally Night. Steamrolled him. Seeing that, he's all the way over there. I'm going to go and engage his infantry. You can see what he did to this one unit here. Two men left. So, I'm going to see if I can come around the flank or something. pretty shitty setup so seeing that he's got more men than I do that means I need to totally F up his phalanx I'm not going to engage him straight on I'm going to go like this that means he's gonna have to turn his guys around expose himself to my archers and a possible cavalry charge but I do see him coming back And then I got uh, my pelt is coming too. So he's screwed, dude. His general's right there too. So is my general. Hey, what's up, Johnson? Sorry I gotta kill you, bro. Eat this. Totally screwed, man. This general should be dead by now. Look. Hi, I'm gonna get up in the middle of your formation and then wreck hell. Look at this. It's gonna kill everybody now. You just gotta stand in the face. No problem. He's coming at me, bruh. So all my I'm gonna start using fire arrows. One of them does. There we go. Look at this. Eat that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go crazy. Go ham. And that frees up my cav and my archers. My pelt is a bunch of maniacs too. Is that general still alive? Where is he? Right here? Look at this guy. You, I bet you he killed more people in my unit than, than any of those pikes did. Look at him just turning his back. And look at what I'm doing with these, these guys. Running away. Great gods be praised! Oh. The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts! Where's my archers? Yeah, these guys don't know what to do. He's got a full unit right here. You do is turn them around. He didn't do that. Your general now lies dead because of his foolishness. 
His men will lose heart. Yeah, it's because you freaking general, his other general just stood there like a freaking guy. He got knocked down and he pops up in the middle of the freaking ranks. It doesn't matter. Let's get that one. God be praised. This victory is surely their work, not that of mortals like us. That's a lot of dead people. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, he terminated the game as soon as he admitted defeat. Uh, I do have the um, the results thing. So, All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the morrow.